Any nigga for the right will get to it with screw the game. <laughs> Just say that. Oh, T Gray, we pull up bounce out anywhere. Oh, folks, any block, any set, any, you know what I'm saying? Oh, folks, and we drop loads too. You know what I'm saying? We play ball both ways. We don't duck, no rake. Oh, take you bitch ass nigga. Steady dragging that shit. Oh, first grade, I don't even tired of talking about it. Like I say, folks, if any nigga from the rack want to get a tool and screw the game. Oh, bro, grade. Just hit me, gang. We can do it. Any block, any set, any hood. Oh, folks, like we ain't got no picks. Oh, take nigga, like we really get like that. Just like anybody else. What's going on, YouTube gang? It's your boy, FYB Mark. I'm back at you with another video. And today, we're going to be speaking on the situation on Schooly G and Mimo 600. Because Schooly G, he just... Ever since that little incident of him dropping that little song, bro, dropping the snippet of the song, and everybody feeling like he was slightly trying to send shots and sneak this duck. Ever since that moment, bro, Schoolie G's just been at it with Chicago and just the drill rap scene in general, bro. And now it hit different when Schoolie G over here like, I don't give a fuck. I could be into it with any Chicago mother. Like, Schooly G, chill out, bro. Because it different when you talking about motherfuckers washed up and yada, yada, yada. But you trying to be a part of a culture that they created. Do you understand that? These motherfuckers created this culture that you trying to be a part of. So before you talk about washed up or any of that, bro, you need these niggas. If it wasn't for these niggas, you wouldn't be who the fuck you are or where the fuck you at right now. So let's be real. You did not create the drill culture, bro. Your ass is trying to be a part of it. Do your homework on not creating something, but trying to be a part of something. That's Schooly G, bro. But this situation crazy as hell because... Mimo 600, you know, he spoke up for Duck, bro. Like, Schooly G out here over whooping. And now Schooly G talking about motherfuckers washed up and he could be into it with anybody from the rack. And, bro, chill out, G. Because, man, this situation getting crazy as hell, bro. Like I fucking said, you're trying to be a part of something that Chicago created. Let's be real here. Chicago created the drill culture, bro. They started it. All them niggas. So, for you to sit up here and be like, yeah, this motherfucker washed up and y'all niggas. Bro, your career barely started. Let's start there. And it can end very quickly, too. Do you understand that? If not, you better go do your homework on some of these motherfuckers. That career started and then ended. Before it even started. Man, this situation crazy as hell. But it's your boy FYB Mar, man. I'm just giving y'all my thoughts on this situation. Screw the G want to go to war with everybody in Iraq, bro. Like, are you okay? You think you're right? You letting all this music shit get to your head. Man, crazy as hell. But it's your boy FYB Mar, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bells on. And I'm out. Any nigga for the right will get to it with screw the game. <laughs> Just say that. Oh, take grade. We pull up, bounce out anywhere. Oh, folks, any block, any set, any, you know what I'm saying? Oh, folks, and we drop loads too. You know what I'm saying? We play ball both ways. We don't duck, no rake. Oh, take you bitch ass nigga. Steady dragging that shit. Oh, first grade, I don't even tired of talking about it. Like I say, folks, if any nigga from the rack want to get a tool with screw the game. Oh, bro, grade. Just hit me, gang. We can do it. Any block, any set, any hood. Oh, folks, like, we ain't got no picks. Oh, take, nigga, like, we really get like that. Just like anybody else.